Hey everyone, this is Ode with Seed to Table, and today I'm going to be showing you a garden experiment that you can do in your very own homes. All you really need is a sunny window and a little bit of patience. So this activity is called bean sprouting in a bag. And instead of sprouting seeds today in soil, we're going to be trying to sprout them in a Ziploc bag. Have you ever tried to sprout seeds not in soil before? I'm really excited. So again, your first material that you'll need is a Ziploc bag. You will also need a paper towel, a little bit of tape, and then some seeds. So these are actually some bean seeds that are from my kitchen pantry. They're dried beans that I got at the grocery store, some kidney beans and lima beans. These work really well because they're really big and they sprout pretty quickly in just a couple days. You can also use some seeds that maybe you have and from your garden from seed packets, or if you have any seeds left over from your seed planting kit, you could use those as well. And the first thing that I did was I actually soaked these seeds in water overnight. This helps soften the seed a little bit and starts to break open the seed coat. So every single seed actually has this outer layer called a seed coat. And when you soak it in water, that seed coat starts to fall off and break open. So that red layer right here, that is the seed coat and then inside is the seed. And we want that seed coat to soften and break open because that's the first step of sprouting. So we're just kind of speeding up the process by soaking them overnight and it makes our seeds sprout even faster. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to wet our paper towel. So I have a paper towel here that I folded in half and I have a spray bottle that I'm just gonna spray very generously with water. You can also run your paper towel under a kitchen sink, whatever works best for you. And now my towel's nice and wet. You want it kind of like a sponge. And then you're gonna place your paper towel inside of a Ziploc bag. And you're gonna lay that paper towel nice and flat, which I'm not doing right now. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now it's nice and flat. And now you are ready to plant. So this is kind of gonna act as your soil. So your paper towel is nice and wet, which seeds really like. In order for that seed to sprout, the seed needs to have some moisture come into it. So that paper towel is acting as that moisture and is gonna help um, with the seed soaking it up. So I'm gonna grab a handful of seeds and I'm just gonna drop them right in my Ziploc bag. And I'm gonna put them all on one side of the Ziploc bag, on one side of the paper towel, and just drop them right at the bottom right here. Let's see, I'll plant a couple more, just like that. So now that the seeds are right next to the paper towel, which is nice and wet, those seeds are gonna easily be able to soak them up. And I'm also gonna be leaving the Ziploc bag open because seeds, along with needing water, they need some airflow as well. And by leaving it open, air can go in and out very easily. So what's really, really cool about seeds is that inside of every single seed is a little bit of food for that seed to eat when it begins to sprout. So it takes a lot of work for those little baby roots to sprout out from the seed and those little baby leaves to sprout out as well. So inside of that seed, there's that little bit of food to get that seed started. So that seed eats the food and then it can be begin to sprout a little bit. So we're gonna be watching over the next couple days as our seeds begin to sprout. And there's a really, really great place to put your bag while you wait for it to sprout. And that is a sunny window. So with your bag still open, you can just grab a piece of tape and tape it to a sunny window. So I'll pretend that my poster back here is my window. And all you do is you just tape it to the window just like that. You might need a couple pieces of tape to help make sure it stays on. And the sunniness, the warmth of the sun is actually gonna help those seeds sprout even more. So seeds like water, air, and they like a warm temperature. 
So that sunny window is gonna provide some warmer temperatures to your seed while they wait to sprout. So what you're gonna be doing is every day, I want you to be journaling what's happening to your seeds. So you could be uh, drawing a picture of what your seeds like, seed looks like. You could also be writing a few sentences about what's happening to your seeds. And in just a few days, your seeds are gonna transform. They're gonna break open. Those little roots are gonna start popping out of the bottom of the seed. And the two first leaves are gonna be coming out the top of the seed. And it's really fun because since we're not using soil, we can actually see exactly what's happening to our seeds. So typically our seeds are kind of hiding underground in the soil and it's not clear to see what's happening. But now that we have this Ziploc bag, we can see what's happening. And then after a few days or maybe a week, when your seed has begun to sprout those roots and leaves, you can actually just pick up that seed and poke it right into some soil and plant it in some soil there. But while we wait, what's really cool is you get to see what's happening. So I'm really excited to see what seeds you decide to sprout this week. 